to my channel it is of course Chelsea of she designs things and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you some additional tips and tricks to help you better understand your web design in Google sites so of course let's just go ahead and get started all right so this video will probably just be kind of a, a one and done sort of situation um, if you guys prefer and you want me to make more videos regarding my design aesthetic and how I come up with my Google site designs then of course just let me know um, it's always an option to write in if you want like the next video if you want me to break down what a design entails or how a design was created just let me know so here we are taking a look at a design that I am working on this one is gonna be the studio and so it is not an not a template just yet. I always start my templates using um, the framework of another template. So this one, I think I started using the framework of Wild Coyote in order for me to create this template. But since I'm not using Wild Coyote, obviously, um, it's just, since it's geared towards photographers, I already know what goes in the design, so it's just easier just to use that kind of, that frame, <laughs> that body to come up with a new design so here we have this design here and i'm just going to share the full screen display so that you can see what i see so scrolling down well obviously in the header image is a gif that i have brought in um it was a video that i found inside of canva that i liked so i exported it and then i actually had to upload it to a different program so that it could make it just a little bit smaller um, the file size so that it could you know not be too large back here this is actually an image and then uh, this is some text and text that I have inside of the Google site now going down further we have the three images here as you see just like I do just like I had in the other design the only difference is I'm going to swap these images out for images regarding the photographer here versus it just making them their separate galleries so these will just be static images and not linked now here you see I have some text text a text 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 this text is using is how I'm creating this sort of pseudo menu style and when I create my pseudo menus, by the way, if you ever purchase a template for me and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I always link videos <laughs> about what I'm talking about. Um, but I also offer setup service so that, you know, if you are confused, I can set it up for you and kind of explain the process a little bit. But this is one of those designs that has that hidden menu, meaning if you make a change to something, you will have to make the change across all pages individually. So I already set it up in a way so you don't have to do that. But say you wanna add more pages and stuff like that, mm, probably think to do something different. Now I think, and don't quote me on this, please don't quote me on this, I think I might start creating um, blogger templates to go with the Google Sites. Um, just yeah just the way to have an actual blog because when you buy your domain through Google if you connect your domain it'll read your Google site as just the Google site and then it will tag the blog that you build inside of blogger as your blog hosted site and that's essentially what you want to happen but for those of you who don't want to have to deal with you know going to blogger although it's just super easy to use blogger and you can actually monetize your blogger um, I do create sort of a, a pseudo blog in here, but I digress. This is about this design. So we have the Lachey Brown, which this is an image. And we have the shop, the blog, the portfolio, boudoir and weddings. Um, me Lachey, we have an HTML button here. And then we have this vibe in here a little bit. So weddings. I want an image, boudoir, I need to change this image to boudoir, but you get the point, that's the whole purpose of this layout. Then we have another button here, an image, and yeah, our fake blog. So, really cool design. Um, really much, it reminds me of like, you'll see show it designs. Show it designs are really great. Um, show it, a lot of designers <clears throat> are either Squarespace designers only, WordPress designers only, Wix designers only. Um, so they're kind of not really multifaceted for their show it designer only. 
And I feel like Showa is great, but it's expensive. Like it's super expensive and the templates are also super expensive. So that's why I try to create um, my Google site designs so that they can still have that, you know, that aesthetic that photographers like to have um, or coaches or, or, or even psychologists or psychiatrists, but they don't have to come with that premium price tag because starting a business is already expensive. Not saying you have to stick with Google sites. Um, eventually I do want to make pretty much make every site design that I create in Google sites inside of those other website platforms so that you can have options. Like you don't have to just choose Google sites, but Google sites, budget friendly, great for people with a budget, but I digress. So now let's talk about obviously the breakdown of here. Um, here's what it looks like on a phone, just so you can see. It looks really cool. I really like the way the meat the shade comes up um, and then the LEDs vibe together. And then you see we have weddings. And then it's funny because it, you would think the way I usually would design is put this image first, but because I'm not using three bouncing back and forth, if you have two, it, it's totally fine. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and then uh, of course I have the, let me capture your moment. And then we have that image here and the button is still there and the button is still there and what it looks like on that desktop view. Oh, don't go all the way down. I'm still working. So. And then the buttons right in between. So let me explain how this is created. I'm going to exit this view. This is an image, an image logo that I made inside of Canva. Nothing special. I do that often whenever I'm trying to come up with designs. I come up with the logo before I even come up with the design. I come up with the name before I even come up with the design. And so the name and the logo inspires the design. So that's that. For the text, uh, for the subheading text anyways, I'm using a pre font. And then for the title, which this is the title font here, I'm using a burrito. Let's go with that. Cause it sounds like a burrito. <laughs> so we'll go there. Now to create this pseudo menu and not have them be one on top of the other. I have three sections here. The first section I have right here with the blog and the shop. They are um, on one side and the other. Right underneath it, I am using my signature, signature line, okay? That line I made by mistake. I have no idea how I got it to be so skinny. Um, it is, it, 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 I, I wish I could explain it, but I don't know how because it wasn't made inside of Canva. I think it was a vector. And I converted the vector to a PNG. And so let me show you what happens if I were to try to um, edit, say the, the text, you can move the text, right? And see the line, it, it gets longer. But if I were to move this whole thing, um, the text and the line together, messes it up, totally jacks it up. You know, now I have this big goofy line. And once I figured that, figured that out, I was like, whoa. This is a changer. This is a game changer for me. Um, but this is my design aesthetic. Feel free to, you know, you can still create the same sort of vibe inside of Canva and upload like a squiggly. Um, you're just gonna have to make it super small uh, or it's either super small or really big. I can't tell, I wish I could. Because if you see this line by itself, it is, see that, ultra thin. But I digress, let's go on. So text, image, text, image, text, image, text, image, text, image. That image is marked as decorative again, because it does nothing. It does nothing. It is a decorative image that I use inside of these files to create this design aesthetic and or look. Now looking at this this way, actually, the one thing I think I'm going to do, I have Lachey Brown here. I don't necessarily need it here in the middle. It's just helping to break up the design. Um, and I did bring the Lachey Brown here before, but I can honestly just bring it down here and I don't have to deal with it up here. It's it's a choice thing. So maybe I'll change it. Cause then you also have the meet Lachey with the same sort of font and text. And that can be kind of bouncing like back and forth a little bit chaotic. But I digress going on down. Now we have this image here. Um, let me duplicate this section just so I can show you how it's created. Again, I do have that line underneath. 
um, the underneath the image file. This this is just an image, a regular old image that I got from Unsplash. I'm gonna stretch it out just so you can see. I'm gonna actually hit the uncrop button. In Google Sites, again, it is using a flexbox to create these sections. So sections are columns and they're just up and down. They're they're just pretty much up and down. They are not that that CSS grid. So it's a little bit different of a process. You see how I hover over it? You can see um, where the the grid the where the grid where the grid is. But then everybody knows this because it's aggravating. If you were to place something in your Google site, it just shifts all all the way up to the top. So that's why the spacer right here is important. It keeps you from having to deal with that. So even if I wanted to say, I'm gonna just, you know, drag the spacer, make it larger, keep this image maybe smaller, or maybe even delete this image, and then take this text and bring it across. Um, and again, this is an image that I just made in Canva. And I and when you're making images in Canva, by the way, don't position them so that they're always in the middle. If you're trying to have something with text and you want the text to be on the side, move the dang on text to the side. <laughs> but always set it in the center of the file. And I recommend using a file size that's usually um, 500 by 500 or under. But when I start doing a design, I always start it off usually a little bit larger because I'm, I'm making changes and then I convert them, um, I'll actually change this whole size for my templates when I give them off to people to be a different size. But I'm trying to avoid using any Canva assets in my premium, premium designs. I just want them to be kind of assets that are a part of the design that I create. Um, so you will have to bring in your own logo, but I do also offer the ability to buy the logos from the designs. But I, again, off topic. <laughs> so now let's just see what this two image section looks like. Um, it sort of moves this photo up, as you can see, and then that big square that we have is still there. Um, and then this is kind of right here. And when you're the photographer, this will be your image. It won't be the image of the couple in there. Um, you want to have like the three images that you want to have. Now, maybe you don't want them to be long rectangular images. You can make them square images. So I'm gonna just pull them up just like this. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna pull this one up. Again, make another square sort of image. I'm gonna double click position of folks so that they're just like that. And that's really not too bad, but it's not bad. All right, so I had to refresh for some reason. Let's keep going down. So I'm just gonna delete this section cause you got the point, even though when I refreshed I'm under two accounts, so it always thinks I'm doing something sketchy. <laughs> but I digress going down. Now, I decided to make the title, which is what I always do. I will make, not the title, but a header. Um, and the header will be in its own section. See how this is in its own section? And then when you want to create some style, some flavor, just highlight the word that you really want to stand out. Um, this is also a part of uh, your SEO when it comes to like bolding, you know, words that you really want to stand out. Now, don't make every word bold because Google don't like that. But if you want your site to be about web design, then you would, you know, make sure words that have to do with web design are a little bit, you know, draw attention to to that that word. Now, obviously, I would say this would be a different. I would say something different here. Like, let's capture your something with capture something for photography related if you want so that it stands out more and then of course I have in here this is one section with the one image and then because I don't mind that it's shifting it to the top I don't want it dead smack down in the center um, that's because you have to think consciously you really have to think consciously about your Google design so <clears throat> down in here, I just decided that I would let the text float to the top. And then I do have a space. I don't know if you see that there is a space, um, like a section, like a, like a column space in between 
the verbiage and the actual image. And again, select your images appropriately. Make sure you're using the, the correct uh, sections and section colors. Like there's one thing I can't teach you, it's how to have style. I'm sorry, that's the one thing I cannot teach you. If you can't design something that you like and enjoy, it's because you don't know what your style of design is just yet. So that's something that no one can teach you. I'm just saying, you can mimic people all day, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna be your style of design. Now, <clears throat> moving on, this section here, a lot of people don't pay attention to, <laughs> to things I say, um, especially in my tips and tricks videos because I'll see the same question over and over again. So again, a part of my tips and tricks video, I, I did say bring in additional assets and what I meant by that was change the background. This I am actually using two, um, not two, but I'm using a background and I'll show, here it is. Here's the background image that I brought in. I brought in the same color and the same lower brown color that I'm using inside of the Google Sites. I just copy the hex code and then I place it and I made these be like two um, even little squares, you know? You can set one as the background, but I like to make two separate squares. It just makes it easier because then one of them, say you won't need, you can just remove and make it transparent if you so choose to, but it's totally your choice. So this one um, is does have a transparent background because if you go in my themes panel, and I'm gonna edit this theme, and I'm gonna click colors, the default one is this lighter color, and this is the background. So the bottom half of it is the color and the top is transparent, meaning if the background were to change, if I was to change the default color to say red, that would change red, but the bottom would still say, stay the same color. You can do this sort of style with pretty much all your, all your Google sites. I mean, I, I try to make it as simple as possible, but again, I can't teach style. Um, so let me get that back to the way I like it. Um, but this particular one right here, I did not set to be that way. And that is because the image that is above it is a little bit different. So I had to make sure that when I brought the image in, it was going to look the way that I wanted it to. So there, I had to get it back right because for some reason I did not make that right. Um, this had to match this section. So that's why I used two, the two, um, what do you call that? The the two, the two squares, <laughs> the two squares there. Jeez, I'm having a long day. All right, very simple text, text, HTML button. And this is just a one image asset. And then this of course is the underline that I have no idea how I made that always ends up in these newer designs. And then when you click preview, just so we can preview everything I talked about, um, I, I again you, you design mobile first so let's look at all of this on a phone again we have that background gif gif whatever going on and then we have our pseudo menu which will be tagged to go to the various pages we have the three image blocks which will be changed out to match the photographer like it'll be the photo photographer's images or I might change it to be something else entirely then we have um, this let's vibe. We have the weddings, which is a hyperlink. So it goes somewhere. And then uh, underneath that, we have the boudoir photos. So the same thing, it'll take you to the, probably to the investments page. We'll have to see all roads need to lead somewhere. The get to know me button will probably change to match whatever content I put in here. Maybe it's a giveaway. Maybe it's like, get this guide for posing or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then on the blog, so we have the blog, read more and more additional blog posts. Now, if you decide you want to use like a blogger, you can set that up um, and actually, you know, show the next blog post on your Google site. You'll just have to use like a widget and you can use something like Snap Widget to do this or you can use something like Elf Site. I recommend that Snap Widget over Elf Site because Elf Site will charge you, literally, if you say you were to install your Instagram feed in the footer of your site, it'll count every view, like legit count every single view 
on every page. So even if you if you change pages, say you're on the site and you you go to the home page and then they go to the contact page, that contact page is now their next view. It's so that it just racks up and I, I don't like Elf site. I'll be I don't like Elf site. I don't understand the the whole people loving Elf site because a lot of the things that you can do in Elf site, if you do a little bit more research, you can do yourself and save yourself some money. Trust me. Trust me. So before I let you go, here is one of my other latest <laughs> designs. Also kind of built around the same premise using that. Um, this one is, is a little bit different. It's more like blog based, but this one is also using that same logo because it kind of ends. One logo can inspire multiple designs for me. And I think a lot of people for, forget that. But so we have Lachey Brown. We got this button. We have these images across here. We have another image. That's actually me though. <laughs> That's me. And then we have these. Man, I managed to take this photo, by the way, with my phone as my phone's the trigger <laughs> there people don't know that now you know uh, and then we have this section down here which i will explain only if you want me to explain this section here um, again it is designed to be mobile friendly so if you think for one second that it's going to be jacked up you clearly don't know what channel you've been watching i'm just saying i'm just saying welcome to the team all right, then we have this rail here, get inspired. We have that background image. I'm in, this is a button. Yes, this is an embed. And this is probably not going to be a part of any site because this is using, again, custom HTML and CSS to create this. I have talked about creating these containers many, many times. Um, remember, they are not being read through anything they are read on screen readers only <laughs> so don't put anything important in here for seo for me it's like get inspired you can put i would recommend putting like if you're going to put a call to action um don't make this your only call to action seriously don't don't do that so we have that and then we have our little our little at the bottom you know colors and i don't know it's a work in progress um, let me know if you have any suggestions for the design. If you want to see something different, maybe you think, oh, I want to see this or that. Just please let me know and I can try to kind of come up with it. But and also let me know if you want to see how this is created. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. This is a section. <laughs> this is one section, actually. But this is a column. This is a column. This is a column. And this is a column. And that's it. That's all you needed to know to get this design. <laughs> These are four columns total out of the 12 column design all right cool all right guys thanks so much for watching i know this video was kind of all over the place but i kind of wanted to explain a little bit of my design aesthetic and how i get things to look the way that they do again i'm not doing any voodoo magic in the background it's simply just understanding how to bring things inside of google sites to benefit the business that i'm working with and also just the design aesthetic so uh, yeah Thanks again so much for watching and of course, laters.